you're going to use this stuff, this is the safer method of using it. Start off by flushing the entire cooling system. You can see I put a, a bypass so my heater core is blocked off. You can see the bypass here. I plug this one up right here. You don't want that stuff in your heater core, especially if it's not leaking. Why, why chance it, right? So after doing all that, then I take this and I dilute it in distilled water. The reason I do that is instead of pouring it in and getting clumps that don't dilute, this way you know, you pour it in, shake the bottle, and pour it in slowly. As the truck's running, pour it in very slowly. You want that evenly distributed throughout the system. And then after it's done, if it works, and it seals my problem, I'm going to flush it. Well, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain it. Just drain it, no flush. Just drain, and then refill with coolant. And eventually hook that, that uh, heater core, uh, core back up. That's the safe way of using this junk. I don't recommend using it, but if you're like me, and you don't have a garage to rip the heads off, or just don't have time, or you just broke, this is how you do it. I'll let you guys know if it worked or not. Now my leak is a very small leak, probably from the head gasket. And... I'm holding up to 12 pounds. I got a 12 pound cap on there and it's holding at 12 pounds. My hose is pressurized though. I already took the thermostat out. That's another thing you got to do. And eventually when you top off with fresh coolant, you know, and you trust it, you could put it back in and hope it doesn't blow again. But that's my method. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions? Leave it in the comments below. Please subscribe.